Good morning. It is October 29th, and today I want to talk about the chicken and the egg. Let's just say I don't quite understand why it has been the world's greatest unanswerable question. As a well-being philosopher, using evolutionary logic, I say to myself, um, well, <laughs> it's so obvious what the answer is, it's not even funny how obvious the answer is, my friends. Obviously, an egg came first. Had to. And where did this egg come from? Well, evolutionarily speaking, it came from a reptile. Of course it did. Of course it did reptiles with wings. Now, these first eggs with wings probably didn't even hatch. It probably took a trillion or so of these uh, slightly winged reptiles never getting out of an egg and then some of them getting out of an egg and evolution collecting data on whether wings worked or they did not work. But absolutely 100% of chickens just don't arrive on the scene. Gotta come from an egg and all we need to do is ask a second better question. When we're in a place of um, either or, my way, the highway. I simply think that as adults in America, can we ask another question? And almost obviously, once we ask just one more question, we get enough context to sort of know who's really the wrong one in that first either or. Sometimes not. Sometimes we'll need a second and third question to come around to really get to the bottom of it. But I really find by the time you've lined up three, four different questions on any either or position, chicken or egg, um, as far as, again, I'm saying pick the egg. Let's just do that. And then once you pick the egg, the question becomes, well, who created the egg? And the obvious answer is reptiles. Now, we can spend a lot of time going down out the decimal points to get very clear on that, but at the integer level, that question's been sorted once and for all, really. Um, that's the sort of methodology that comes with evolutionary logic. And thinking about animals in the progression of life from single cell amoeba up to humans and not making ourselves special is how we create a much better world for humans. It's kind of crazy to think um, all this chaos, and it's all down to us, there aren't any boogeymen running around making decisions in America. It is American adults, and we're making extraordinary poor decisions. We're deciding that things that dead white men made happen 100 years ago are the boss of us, and that should not be the case. Right now, if you want to fix any cause, any of the injustice floating around America, just start thinking chicken and egg. Pick the most logical answer, egg, ask the next question. Where did egg come from if not from chickens? Reptiles. All right, hope this helps contextualize a little bit of the kinds of new ways of thinking that you'll get exposed to as you listen to me more about well-being philosophy. Have a good Tuesday.